So we're in Jersey, New Jersey, and we just drove across the state from Pennsylvania, went through Delaware a little while, and then uh, we're on our way to the New Jersey Motorsports Park for the last round of King of the Baggers. Um, pretty stoked. It feels like I haven't been to a race in a long time. I hate when you use eyes when I'm uh, sitting right here. We. I mean, I, I don't know how you feel. I feel like I haven't been to a race in a long time. Well, it has been a minute. That's true. Like, we've done a few things in between. It has been a long break. Yeah. Look at that school. I guess drama of the whole thing is after after Minnesota. Right. Uh, Kyle Wyman's kind of out of the running for uh, defense of his championship. But his brother, Travis, is uh, right in the, in the thick of it. So He's this, got the points lead right now. Yeah, so this should be a pretty interesting race as far as the strategy competition between the Indian team and the Harley team for who's going to take home the trophy for the series. And uh, I'm very interested to see how they uh, it's gonna be dicey. how they run. I think it's going to be I think it's going to be pretty spicy. Yeah. New Jersey Motorsports Park. We made it, and uh, it's a super nice track. Never been here. It's really rad. I like it. And we were late. We were a little bit late for the didn't the baggers run this morning? Oh yeah, right after we. Yeah, the baggers, they, they were running a little bit right after, like right as we were setting up our camper and all that stuff, so we missed, we missed practice, but they're going to run a qualif some qualifying this afternoon at 5, so we got like uh, 10 minutes left, and then the baggers are supposed to run their qualifiers, their first qualifier, so we were in time for that. Really cool track. Points right now, who's in the lead? Travis. One of Travis Wyman is in the lead. 106. And okay. then he's followed by Tyler O'Hara. Mm -hmm. One of three. And then Kyle and then Wyman. Kyle, I think it's 86. Yeah, and then. And then we've got um, uh, Jeremy McWilliams. The rest of the field, right? Uh, <laughs> Four. Uh, Bobby Fong is five. James yeah. Ashley. But I don't think that even if I think Kyle's out of it. Even if Tyler was to sit this race out, I don't think he could catch. So really, it's between Travis Wyman and. Tyler O'Hara, who so, wins the championship, that which is Indian like versus Harley, Indian then. versus Harley, which will be a thing. So yeah. my assumption is that it's going to be spicy, and I want to I want to see it. So this is a pretty good spot. We got a pretty good view of this turn, and uh, the race on Sunday is nine laps. Okay, this track is much shorter than it is. Some yeah. of the last ones, so it's going to be a little bit more yeah. spicy. I think. It'll be intense, right? Yeah. Short track, nine laps, championship race. So. It's down, down to this one. Hopefully, Moto America will uh, run all nine this time. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> yeah. Weather's supposed to be good, so keeping our fingers crossed. Somebody's fired up there. Saturday, 10.30ish, and we're headed to the races again, and uh, we're going to go participate in the fan zone a little bit today. Uh, i got to pick up my Harley, my Harley gift bag swag, so i got to wear my Harley bracelet. Um, V-Twin Visionary Bike Show, uh, Unknown Industry is going to do a Harley stunt show, so that's in like 45 minutes, we're going to check that out. Um, I'm going to see if we can get some food at that barbecue place. Oh, right. right. There's a barbecue guy up here, like barbecue and stuff, so I want to get some of that. And uh, qualifying all day. Tiger qualifying at noon. Yeah. Sprint challenges. Yeah. There's qualifiers from every division all day long, but uh, the bagger qualifier is at noon and immediately followed by 
the three three lap challenge, the oh, sprint you, challenge. You know what else there is? It's this afternoon with the track walk. Oh yeah, at five o'clock, track walk for guys to get the Harley Pass. So we'll check out all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I guess here we go. <laughs> Unknown crew. They're gonna do a stunt show. What time you got? I think. It's Don't got a time. Hold on. Uh, it's on. Ten fifty. Ten fifty. So. Yeah, a bit. yeah, thirty minutes or so, and uh, they're gonna do a Harley stunt show. But uh, the V Twin Visionary Performance Bike Show is uh, spinning up. Lots of fucking bikes showing up. Like. I think this is a pretty good location to have a lot of like uh, hey, hey, hey. New England, Northeastern crew, freaking East Coast mobbing fucking type dudes show up. So hey, hey, hey. pretty good. Like uh, oh, East Coast dudes yeah. or New East Coast Jersey. or whatever. But a lot of cool bikes. this time like 125 flat uh, yes. and, uh, and then Tyler O'Hara's bike broke and he pulled off and he was trying to start it and I don't know if he did start it or not but we will see I don't think they do no here they go tragedy <laughs> right well the sprint challenge high. is over mission foods king of the baggers sprint challenge yes uh took out two guys one of them well, one we don't know what happened his bike just broke right. tyler o'hara he pulled off he had smoke coming During out of his bike correct. i guess that was the last lap of qualifying yes. but uh so he was out and then uh our boy 
James Raspoli freaking just laid it down right in front, laid of, it down right in front of us. But Ugh. at least it, it appeared as though his bike was not that jacked up. Like it slid and it didn't flip at all. It just slid yeah. on the track. So it, does it stayed like on the asphalt the whole time. So easily put it on the trailer. Hopefully that's uh, not a big deal tomorrow. and it'll be ready for tomorrow. Yeah. And then uh, Kyle won the sprint challenge. Yes. Travis was in second. Yep. And then uh, Bobby, Fong. Bobby Fong was in third place. Yeah. So Bobby Fong's riding good, man. He's up there dicing it up. He's spicy. And uh, yeah, we shall see. It's gonna be good. Well, it's gonna be good tomorrow afternoon. Yes. Sucks. We got a long time to wait. But it's uh, true. But then they got we get all the in, in, to get James up. All the stuff. in between stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah, we'll go by the we'll go by the paddock and see if uh, in the pits and see if uh, see how his bike looks. They don't close the dang doors like they did last They're time. Definitely gonna do that. You know. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, we're headed back to the grandstand area to uh, check out the uh, the stunt show again. Sunday morning practice is underway. And uh, they kind of rousted us out of bed a little bit, but that's cool. I'm totally stoked on it. Like, uh, it is definitely overcast, so the possibility of rain is there. Our boy Raspoli is back on the track, so that's good to see. I'm happy about that. And, uh, yeah, dude, Sunday race day is uh, has started. We've been doing these for a while now and uh i guess we should kind of show you what it's like to camp at the track right so uh we are in millville new jersey at the new jersey motorsports park and uh we're camping on the infield right so uh there's one section of the infield they have kind of set aside for campers and uh and here they've not really done a super good job of like uh laying it out so everybody's kind of just uh just park wherever you could find it. I did buy tickets that uh, had uh, reserved or preferred camping, so I do have uh, power. And uh, we're kind of sitting right in the middle of the track. Um, right over there is the end of pit lane where they exit, the bikes will exit and then hit the track. So it's pretty close. Um, but uh, it works pretty well because at least location wise it works pretty well um we have power you know this this rig is pretty squared away we got over 100 gallons of fresh water on board so we can easily last through the weekend and uh and uh we'll go to a follow-on campsite so uh it is it is pretty good let's go up on the roof and uh take a look around Not the best location for watching a race, but kind of cool for just people watching and stuff. Um, up there is like the main paddock and like uh, pit lanes right in front of us, and uh, the actual podiums are right up there by uh, by the paddock. You can see the tower up there where they got cameras up on the tower. That's right at the base of that is where they're uh, where the podium is. So they have podium celebrations up there and stuff. It's not too far away. Um, 
right behind us over across the infield you can see the big the big building over there that's where they have like the pro shop and like uh, there's like a little snack bar and stuff like that over there so it's pretty pretty convenient conveniently located and uh, as far as spectating goes this track is really good there's bleachers in nearly every turn and a lot of the straightaways there's bleachers there so you can get a good view of the track and also there's concessions pretty much everywhere you know i think the one thing they lack is trash cans bro they need to get more trash cans out here because uh there's not enough but uh otherwise this is a pretty pretty good track um look at that uh, breakfast is ready so breakfast is ready so i'll get i'll get with you later post breakfast uh Autograph session. <laughs> autograph session. They had uh, they called out over the intercom that there's a uh, they're having an autograph session over by pit lane. So uh, what they call it they call it something something quick quick lane or something. Hot, anyway, hot. hot pit lane or something. Anyway, there's a bunch of riders and uh, riders are over there giving giving out signatures, autographs, photos, and stuff like that. So we're gonna go over there and uh, Stacy's gonna get her a lid signed by as many as many people as she can. All righty, here we go. <laughs> What'd you get? Show us what you got. Kyle Wyman. Kyle. And then Travis. Travis. Oh yeah. So they're pretty popular on the autograph front, and uh, we'll get in words with uh, some of these riders as well. But it's a really cool atmosphere to be able to bring back after the pandemic, and uh, we'll let the fans get their autographs. Steve will cruise on over to the uh, BMW boys, and then we'll check in with the Yamaha camp. So. I think that's one of the things that really separates this from a lot of kinds of racing. Oh, what a gentleman, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think I took it from you. I went well, you first. That's pretty neat. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. Were you filming what that, what he said? I think so. Okay. So when we were at Brainerd, it was like. The baggers were done, and we were gonna stick around and watch this bikes. <laughs> I had to pee. There's a porta potty right there, and as I'm like walking up to the porta potty, one of the racers like runs out. Yeah. And I was like, oh well, of course you go should ahead. go. <laughs> and so he, he went ahead of me, and then he held the door open for me. <laughs> After he came out, he gave me this big grin and stuff. Yeah. So I just had him sign my helmet. Yeah. He remembered that. It's kind of funny. Yeah. That is cool. Little snapshots that like stick in your head is weird. Yeah. He has a really big grin, like, it's cute. All the teeth. Not really sure what that's all about, but it's pretty interesting. I wonder if it's like 3D printed. Oh, baby. Yeah. Cool. Alrighty. Who'd you get? Filled up with pretty much all of what I consider the important people, minus one. 
James Rispoli is going to go right here. I'm saving the best for last. But we couldn't find him. We'll have to find him later. But we've got Kyle Wyman over here, Tyler O'Hara, Bobby Fong, Jeremy McWilliams, Patricia Fernandez, Taylor Knapp. Cool. He's James Rispoli's teammate. That's kind of cool. Travis Wyman, points leader over here. Corey West. Uh, this is Cam Peterson. He's the fellow I had the porta potty moment with at Brainerd. Yeah. That was fun. Um, let's see. And this is the other uh, super bike. Well, he's the. I think he is a points champ still, James. Yeah. Jake Cagney, I think is how you say it. And then, best for last, back here, the Ricky Castro. So, pretty cool. Almost done. That was a fun, a fun thing. So remember what we said about the weather being perfect? Yeah, scratch that. <laughs> Not perfect. Uh, full on raining. So, here we go. The uh, the baggers are on their on their warm up lap now, I think. Yes. And uh, they're about to pull the trigger. So, so here we go. I feel nervous. <laughs> For one, I think because it's raining, so I feel like even more tense. Like when they're doing stuff, they're going fast. I'm like. Well, they just went by like one hot lap and it was noticeably rainy, like yeah, it's massive like mist kick up and like yeah. through the clouds. So it's it's raining. It's like full on raining now. And this is like, the first time it's been raining. Yeah. There was like that pretend rain. Oh no, it's coming even stronger. Yeah. Like it's more and more. So <laughs> this should be good. Sketchy. Yeah, also, they're so, supposed to run nine laps, but yeah. I'm wondering what's going to actually happen. That's true. Uh, this will be good because I guess they're going to take off right here as a start. We haven't seen a start very much. flag so they're stopped and they're all back Everybody. back so at the lineup so Kyle. I'm not sure uh, <laughs> what happened Indian fellas are there. But, uh, is that Travis right there yeah they're lining back up so yeah all right restart Travis's saddlebag. All the pit crew guys are running out there to try to grab it. Like uh, <laughs> they're like sprint across the track and then wait till another bike comes by. Sprint. Still 
two laps to go. We'll see. He's got a six pack in there, dude. He's already he's already cracking one open. <laughs> all right, that's all she wrote. Harley Davidson, uh, well, Kyle Wyman, Tyler O'Hara, and who's in third? Bonk. No, I don't even. I didn't even see who was third. I was already running my mouth, but uh, we're headed over to the podium.